Hello. Hey, where are you at right now? We are in uh, the very front of the um, hotel, meaning we're out on a curb right now. Oh, okay, so they checked you out? I guess so, yeah. Hey, let me ask you a quick question, Dad. Don't walk around. Did you uh, pre-authorize three days uh, on Sunday night? Um, Sunday I did, but the manager had put you down on a uh, do not renew list um, that they did not uh, um, um, recognize when we put you back in the place. Did they? What do you mean by that? Did they talk to you at all? Did they call you back? Yeah, I, I just talked to Bart. Uh, is that the male manager guy? Yes, so I'd like to just deal with him going forward. Sure, sure, of uh, course. Rather than have you talk with him. Oh, we got everything we needed from him. Uh, but let me just clarify. When you called in on Sunday night, you gave them a pre-authorization for three days. Yeah, but I'm fine with them cutting that back based you, on the... No, but what I'm, what, what I'm, all I'm trying to say is, is black and white, did you pre-authorize for one day, two days, or three days? Three days. Okay. I'm not sure the intent of your question here. Well, the, the intent of my question was I simply asked him the same question, and he said that you did not pre-authorize three days. You only pre-authorized one day, and so therefore it plays, unfortunately, into our discrimination lawsuit against him. He lied so that he could otherwise not charge you for this uh, day so that he could use an excuse as to that we didn't pay for as to why we need to leave. He told us that we didn't pay as uh, that we were skipping out on payment, but he was the one who cut it. Who didn't pay. Okay, well, so so all I needed yeah. to know was what your answer was, which is you pre-authorized. That's all that matters. If he wants to do some whatever shysty game, blah, 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 come up with excuses or no excuses, he said no reason, even though we already got on tape that he had reasons, so forth and so on. That's Yeah, that's all well, yeah. between us and him, and I understand that it's over, and so you don't need to get all ex like uh, William William with me. Uh, just deal with him. It's over. I just needed to get that clarification. That's all. So well, you're my guests there, and uh, please do not sue them. Hey, Dad, um, Dad, Dad, you, Dad, Dad, please, you, please. Dad, hello, Dad. Are you literally telling me what I should and shouldn't do with my rights in this country? You were my guest there, and I will be very, very disappointed. Are you literally you telling me that because you paid, you own some part of me now? Um, you're my guest. Um, no, Dad, I am not I your paid, guest. I Dad, paid, I have my own rights in this country it. that doesn't nullify anything. I am extremely disappointed that you would say something like that. You have nothing to do with my life. I won't even... In fact, Dad, to be honest with you, that's intellectual theft. You shouldn't even know that I said something like that. That's my life. That's my information. You've used my information against me in my past, and I don't appreciate that. I, I'm going to do whatever I feel is 100% my rights and my obligations in this world. If I have a right to do something... I have a right to do something. They blamed us for things we didn't do. If you're going to blackmail me and tell me that you're not going to do something here or here, there because you feel as though uh, that I'm uh, disrespecting your personal wishes, guess what, Dad? I'm a United States citizen. I have rights in this country, and I'm sick and tired of being extorted. I really am. Okay. Like, let me just put it this way. Let me clarify real quick. This came up in the past, and um, I believe it was... Uh, Oh, where is it? Uh, well, with, with uh, no, 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 no. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. I ain't have to tell you this, Dad. Seriously, man, you gotta stop cutting me off. Stop walking. This is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you this flat out. In the past, you have told me that you will not support me pursuing things. All you should need to know, and all you're supposed to have known, and all you need to literally unlearn, since you know too much now is that I have rights. I have a right in this country to a Fourth Amendment protection for unlawful seizures. And if I ask you for help to uh, exercise that right, you are not allowed to get any more information out of me. Like, you know, you said one time, like, uh, that you would like to know where the money's going and so forth. All you need to know is that I'm spending the money on exercising my rights. We've been nice and we've been telling you our lives, but we have a right to privacy. And you've been using our information against us because we haven't got our suits out yet. And so, sorry, Dad, you hit a small nerve. I shouldn't have told you okay. anything because you're just going to use it against me. So, okay, you, gonna, so I didn't tell you... Against you. 
Um, I'm going to leave you on your own to find a new place to stay. Are you kidding me, Dad? What did we do? What did we do, Dad? What did I do? Tell me, Dad. Wait, stop, stop. Wait, Dad, do you think we're responsible for the damages? Seriously, Dad. Do you think we're responsible for uh, why we got kicked out? Yes, I, uh, I'm disappointed in you as my guest. What have we done What did we do? What did we do, Dad? You uh, didn't report the Stop damage in the beginning, and I asked you to change rooms numerous times. Uh, they've had to go in and uh, clean that carpet uh, four times now. Dad, it's it, water damages. Dad. It wasn't because of us. Uh, Dad, okay, Dad, let's not yell. David and I, we need to clarify a couple things. We asked him outright if we were in violation of any sort of policies and if there was any sort of damage. He said no. So your investigation is going off of false information. It has nothing to do with damages. You, you did you ask him? Did he say damages? He, uh, I, I trust what he was saying. He what did he tell? What did he tell you? He said several things. Okay. He said that uh, it would have been good had you um, told him at the beginning the problem with the water. That because of that, the water um, uh, leaked onto the carpet. Um, the other was that uh, because of your stay and not allowing them to uh, come in and clean that room, that they had to go in and uh, 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 carpet clean it four times. That room is out of commission for them to rent. Um, that you were very spirited in talking to uh, um, the manager, uh, the breakfast thing, uh, the containers and other times, and that because of all that, uh, um, at any time he's well within his rights to uh, not have you continue to rent. Okay, so Dad? That's what he said. That's what he and, told you. Uh, okay, do as, you understand? As guess, do you? My guess. You're Dad, acting wait, as if it's that. Wait, that's not Dad, wait, Dad, you need to understand yes. something right now. You are what we call a kangaroo court. You are not giving due process to both sides of the information. We had no idea that there was anything to do with water leakage, damage, or anything. When we left that room, it was in 100% mint condition for where the damage was. We saw where they had to Let dry it out. There was no issues. The only issue we had was a toilet that would not flush on its own because of a missing handle. That's it. Let me get so a for you to literally go off of what he is saying Don't you want. and not get our side of the story and literally make up your mind is discrimination and we're sick of it. Hey dad, 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 do you think that we, that it was leaking water the whole time? The 30 days that we were there, the was it leaking water, water the whole time? Okay, let's let the water go. Okay. No, was it leaking next the one, whole time? Next one, dad, when you say let it go, that's because you're king of court and you didn't get all the information. Next one, do you have any idea the kind of conversation we had with them over the food? The, the spiritedness. Do you know why we did, we talked the way we did and we, we asked what we were asking? Do you have any idea? Did you actually come to ask us what our side of that story was? No. So let me tell you what our side of the story is, Dad. I'll tell you what our side of the story is, Dad. We were framed, and we had four employees not talk to us about policy violations. Since no one ever talked to us, we didn't do anything wrong. We didn't know what to talk about. So when we went up and asked them what was wrong, we didn't get anything out of them. I got spirited because I was asking for answers, and they wouldn't provide it to me because they didn't have anything that they told me. But they didn't tell me anything before, and so I, I, I kindly told them, hey, if I'm in some sort of policy violation, hey, by the way, Dad, we recorded that conversation, so we can actually give that to you so you can understand that there's two sides to this conversation that you aren't respecting. We got everything out that we needed to with them, and we were under the understanding that we were not in any sort of policy violations with them, and that we were doing just fine for the food, and in fact, we actually went back to what they wanted, which was uh, uh, one to-go tray thing to be on the nicer, safer side. And we also explained to them that we didn't do that every day, and that there was no actual issues, and that it was previous un unfinished investigations, failed, bad investigations by employees that literally, you're just going to believe a business owner over us because you didn't care to get our side of the story. You're lynching us. Why didn't and you we come are, talk to us, Dad? Yeah, and we're kindly asking. We're, we're a little upset right now, but we're kindly asking that you step I'm back from this situation. Now. I'm talking to you now. You can, I'll let you go ahead and explain to me. You can step back okay. from the situation and you can look at it from an impartial perspective that he may be full of crap. And that what he's telling you is not what he told us. And we went and we asked him for everything. We asked him for a lot of information. And he is he so far... He wouldn't give us anything. So far, he didn't give us anything at all about what you just said there. We asked if there was anything that we could have done to fix it, 
to, uh, to anything, literally. We are, have been more than willing to work with this gentleman, and he wouldn't give us an inch. And so for him to turn around and give you all of that information is so that he can protect himself in some sort of civil discrimination lawsuit. You just don't want to admit that, that they lied to you, Dad. Dad, they lied this to you. Manager Dad, lied to Dad, you. This, this guy lied to you. Are you going to literally not help us because someone lied to you? And we have proof of it. We have actual... Uh, That's we are, pretty we, serious, Dad, because you're blaming us okay, for let me, damages. Let me get to the next one, please. Okay, okay, moving on. I asked you to change rooms a uh, number of times, and he said that he had to... Uh, Carpet clean that He's never asked us to uh, change rooms. No one asked us to change rooms. They asked I us to asked, come in and clean. I asked you to, hey, I, asked I need to clarify. Clean. Real hey, quick. Dad, stop, uh, stop, Will, stop. This is a clarifying. Was the carpet because of water damage or because of crumbs? Or some other reason? Uh, this was separate from the uh, water damage. So, uh... That's normal okay, cleaning Okay, okay, hold on a second, Dad. Are you kidding hold me? Hold on a second, Dad. Uh, when you told us to change rooms, when you told us to change rooms, did you inform us that there was some sort of caveat or restriction or that we're uh, breaking some sort of uh, agreement with you? Or was that just a gentle suggestion? Because if you're holding that against us, we don't feel like there was enough due process there either. Why didn't you come and tell us? Why didn't you tell us that it was a more important issue? Because so far, we feel like we've been set up again. By there the was way, no issue. No one ever brought it up to us it at did, all. By the way, it didn't permanently damage the carpets. They would have vacuumed seven yeah, times. The they vacuumed damage. four times in one day. Dad, they saved on time. Dad, that water damage? It literally? By the way, wait, the water damage that? happened after we moved out. Wait, I noticed wait. a week after we had moved back in here, I was walking down to the cafeteria, and I noticed the ground was squishy. So when the manager happened to randomly talk to me in the cafeteria, I told him, hey, uh, did anything break in my room, the old one? Uh, we took pretty good care of it, and I noticed there was a bunch of water in 106 and 108. He told me that nothing broke. So why are you blaming us for something that we didn't do? For a lot of things, for pretty much everything. When you say that we were bad this, guests, this Dad, this you gotta understand, we were in our room. Okay, so. I, I misspoke. That's what we're talking about, you lynched us, Dad. Why couldn't you wait to give us a good answer from the beginning, ask us questions, instead of blame us that we were responsible for this? So, uh, I guess I'm, I'm frustrated. I'm willing to listen at this point and maybe change my mind. Okay, but the sum we're, of everything that went wrong mixture. is enough to make me very upset. Okay, and when you are upset, you got to understand from our perspective. I haven't, I haven't acted at all at this point. I've given you a chance to explain. True, but you said something okay. along the lines of that you weren't going to, you weren't willing to help us out anymore after this. So let me, let me just. Uh, uh, I, I'm willing to reconsider that after you explain everything to me. Okay. Okay. For future reference, so I, I that's. I am concerned. I would hope that you would take up my suggestion to change rooms. Okay. And I don't have to come and tell you, you know, you absolutely have to. Okay, for, from now on, from here on out, if, the, if, if, if we happen to receive any help from you guys, we need to be a little bit more clear about the uh, conditions. Because David and I, you, you have to understand that earlier today, when we were in our room, we literally were under the impression from all parties, both you and them, that we were doing nothing wrong at all. In fact, we were trying to be helpful, normal people. We reported bed bugs. Uh, we, if, if there was any serious damage, we would have reported it. There was a, like I said, a toilet that wouldn't flush. It and was so, just a short chain, and it just wouldn't gather water. That's as far as we know. The only damages that have ever, uh, and, and like it wasn't I said, a damage. All we did was just take the tank top off and manually flush it. So, so literally, there was nothing so different. It's kind of unusual because. We've been through this before with, with other people in that somehow we get blamed for things going wrong when it, it's a lot of just misinformation. And David and I, literally, we thought we were on extremely good terms with both of you guys. And so we, sudden, we recorded the conversation of him showing up and telling us to leave. And he started saying one thing about uh, damages for the room. And then he backed out of it when we asked him down below uh, again because we're concerned that we wanted to make sure that we left on good terms. And we wanted, we asked, we asked him, hey, can you print off like some policies for us? Uh, and so he emailed us, uh, you know, his policies or uh, some legal information. I haven't gotten it yet. But you gotta understand that we have been trying to work with these people and there was never any issues that they brought up to us that we n did not think were resolved. And so we're honestly, we're humbly asking that we can continue a normal relationship with you guys without having this tinge of some sort of defamation that we keep getting trapped in because of some sort of trust that you implicitly seem to have for other people. 
when that guy literally when you told me these things he literally flied like six times verifiably compared to what he told us and we were extremely calm and professional when we went down there and we asked him several questions about how much uh, uh, time did you uh, when did you pre-authorize how many days you pre-authorized for what sort of things what was were the wrong? damages when did it happen we asked if we were banned forever and he said yes and we were like excuse me like uh, what did we do to earn this sort of thing and we all I'm trying to say is I really wouldn't trust this gentleman to start making such large judgment calls on our life. Dad, we really, really need some really basic help. And we've been trying to formulate something for like the next week so that we cannot be a burden on you guys if it seems like that's what we are. And okay, please allow so me to talk about half That's all, yeah, please. we're done. That's all I needed to okay. get out. Is okay, please, there's still always two sides even, to the story. Even during the conversation, please pause occasionally, okay? Well, it's hard when there's okay, defamation. Me, let, well, you're going to have to work at it then, because I'm getting frustrated that I can't get a word in. Just okay? please don't pre-assume accusations against us without doing an investigation. You just straight believed him. Okay, that's, that's what They I didn't do any okay. investigation, Dad. So, your turn. Go talk. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm willing to back up, okay, to get a little bit over my frustration, okay? Let me repeat back what I heard from you. The toilet was um, an improper um, uh, thing. You had to flush it by lifting the tank up and pulling the thing. Okay. Yes. Um, and the it water never... damage you're saying wasn't there when you were there. Somehow it seeped. Did it seep out through the... Um, uh, from, all, all it's split. From, from what we can understand, it was from the far corner of where the uh, chair is. Um, as some sort of main broke or something like that. Uh, we don't know. It wasn't part of us in, uh, in our room. The at toilet all. was never a water issue. It never leaked ever once. And when we left and stayed at the other place for two days, we came back here. There was about four or five days before I even noticed that wet mark on the ground near the pool. It's on the way to walking to the cafeteria. So when I noticed it was wet, they were airing it out. So that was a whole entire week after we had moved out. So we don't know okay, what happened it, there. Okay, did it make all the way to the uh, door and out the... Uh, um, yes, it went all the way to basically the pool outside of the but two by, rooms. But by all by the, the way, way, it was but, two rooms, but, 106 and 108. But by all the way, we I, I took a brief look into the room. It was open today, and the chair in the corner that's closest to the window was overturned and there was a fan on that corner and so nothing had ed any ever reached or had anything to do with the far side of the room 25 feet away with the toilet N there was never any water in between or had run from one place one side of the room to the other they were completely okay, unrelated I will, events i will call him back and ask about that okay okay that's by that's the way if you were wanted to record those conversations that, that'd be pretty wise so the only thing we ever get mad at is when we know that people are making conclusory statements believing people dad you have to realize that everyone may be lying to you you have to do or, your own investigation i don't want to say lying but um well, that's, that's it's so uh, i'm talking to you yeah guys. okay let's move on please sure uh, but okay. just go on okay um you're saying on uh staying in that room for uh four weeks without uh moving or allowing a maid in is that uh, uh there's no written policy that says you have to allow a maid in and that you would have preferred that i had come in and says you absolutely have to move next door if there was uh rather than me keep asking you can, can you uh please well move? is yeah, it yeah. Something uh, that if they there would was charge a, us over no, no okay if th there's a very big difference between uh, something that's a gentle suggestion that we denied because of our preferences of uh, just uh, not wanting to move slash reasonably comfortable and then simply saying something like better safe than sorry if you were to uh, if the suggestion that you gave was more along the lines of better safe than sorry we would we have no trouble moving at all period if it's in, if it means that much to you guys we, we've never had that sort of issue. No one brought it up to us, and so we 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 politely declined. But like I said, because though, we didn't think it was an issue. An issue that I have with this is, if they can't charge us over damages of that, then this should not be brought up of cleanliness because we, everyone leaves crumbs on the ground. 
I mean, well, there's so no did, what did they specifically what did they specifically say for damages? Ground into the carpet. Because wait, what 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 did they say? No, they didn't say that. But four weeks of uh, eating in a place is enough for stuff to get uh, ground into the carpet. We uh, Does it get Dad, damaged though. Dad, we were actually very very me. clean, and any mess that we made, which was cr basically dry crumbs, we cleaned up after ourselves. And so, unless they uh, made, and actually, I asked for uh, maybe I didn't ask specifically, but I don't know if you can ask. But I uh, I wanted to ask about some sort of damage reports or anything, any documentation that they could provide well, so that we could okay, actually have something to work with. Let, so, okay, let's back yeah. up a minute here. Um, well, okay, th let me see what I heard on the food is that uh, uh, you had taken multiple containers back, nobody had said anything, and... Uh, is that more than manager, one portion per team. person? Yeah, and then the manager said, uh, we would like you not to do that. And from that point forth, you did not take any containers back to the place. Uh, let me clarify a couple things there. Wow, we when never we, took more than when our we portion ever. When we took the containers back in the first place, we took two containers that were large and one small at most, which would be uh, like a main container for food and then one for cereal, and then the small one was for like some fruit. And upon doing this, there was one or two occasions where... Uh, to me, it was one for me, and maybe it was once for David, but it was never twice for any of us uh, individually. But there was this one occasion that I recall before um, they had spoken to David where I had gone through the line multiple times to ask for individual things because I was only getting them one at a time. So I asked for, like, some cups at the end, and she said something along the lines of, um, it was like, uh, man, this is like your fourth time up here. And I, I gently tried to correct her. I said, uh, I'm just asking for some cups. And that wasn't my fourth time. And so that was a 100% failed investigation with just one employee. And so all we can gather from our own investigation, because we already did this investigation before and during when he had mentioned something to David, is uh, where people didn't necessarily do a good investigation on their side. They didn't talk to all their employees together, and they, and they just assumed. And so th they had a piece of an investigation here for one person, and th that person had talked to the manager, which had got a piece from another person. And so when they did bring it up to David and I, the reason why we were so, quote-unquote, uh, uh, um, outspoken about it was because we were attempting to clarify with them that they had failed on an investigation and that we weren't actually in any sort of policy violation. So we never once took more than what we did and therefore they could never tell us to not take more because when they told us that we kept taking one plate each and so we tried and to clear in cereal which is your side dishes and so we tried to clarify with them that we don't even take things on a daily basis and that for the most part we're actually taking less than what a normal person would on any given day but we were extra kind about it and we actually pulled back and only went for roughly one large container and one small container after that just so as to not arise any sort of uh lynchy suspicions that they aren't good at uh providing but it, on an investigatory okay. basis and so there was okay, no issues there thing. we asked for them to provide us some sort of issues there and they basically said just don't do it and we were like yeah of course we won't because we haven't okay okay that's what i needed to hear is that uh before the talk uh uh, you didn't get the policy, um, they didn't, uh, no one complained, uh, the manager talked to you, and then after that you were in compliance, is that but, right? By the way, the manager talked to me once about filling up the bottle, which I never filled up my bottle after that again, and that was a smaller bottle. Uh, there was a separate conversations with Will about the plates, but we never, for the plates, ever took two, three portions, and like three things back to our room. Yeah, right. And actually... We um, would get tired of it. It's just eggs and potatoes. And when David had been uh, spoken to about the um, milk, I went ahead and talked to him about the uh, just the, the other half of that conversation, uh, which is like, you know, uh, that we don't drink this much milk every day and I have some disability issues. And so I brought up my medical uh, on the purely um, liquid side and that's the first time that they brought up anything about the plates at that point. As in they had not actually told us prior to that moment anything to do with violating any sort of food policies. And so what I asked okay, them okay, right then and there and they basically clarified. Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. Um, um, 
Uh, did you ever bring up, uh, did you ever ask them about uh, the beverage being available all day long? Not that you broke any rule, but I'm just curious if they had uh, ever said anything like uh, the... Uh, no, they never mentioned once of us ever filling up after the hours of 9 a.m. Yeah, we never, um, we and never asked them, but it, uh, we were under the impression that uh, during, I mean, if it was for the only thing that's left out there, which um, is milk, that we wouldn't necessarily have to go between the hours of 6 and 9 if we're going to fill up the same amount that we normally would take during that time at some other time of the day. So at most, if we were caught with that, which we weren't, which we stopped, by the way, after he told me not to do it during the hours anyways, uh, at most it would be just don't do it again. And by the way, the people need to post on things everywhere of their rules yeah, so we never, we, you know, it's kind of a, I don't want to say a railroad, but this happens a lot when people don't know how to uh, identify a policy violation and or they don't know how to inform somebody that there might be one. And so it's like, let's put it this way real quick. As a very easy example, I was at a library and there was a gentleman next to me that was using foul language and they didn't bother to clarify if I had been using that foul language and they basically came up to me and almost kicked me out if I didn't admit to saying those things. And, and I was like, but I did. And so people just don't, okay. uh, let me clarify. It's actually a really important point that I wanted to get out for a very, very long time. It's not that they are failing on investigation. It's that they don't really know uh, how to perform one and they just kind of are very conclusiony jumpy and they just don't care about the details and then we get we get basically profiled a lot that's all they could have spent all that extra okay, time the milk, the to milk figure is it out. fine the milk is fine let's move on um, I, I never said anything either I just assumed that if they left the machine on it was available okay okay um, we're not going to charge for damages which is nice of them it's uh, not our fault. We, I owe them a question on the water damage. I'm curious now. Uh, you said that there was no water damage at all near the um, we didn't, uh, toilet. Yeah. Uh, oh, no damage on the toilet at all. The it was issue literally with the toilet never caused leaking on the ground, ever. The only issue on the toilet specifically was a handle that had fallen off. And so in order to pull up the string, we would stick our hand into the area... It was still had it still had the um, chain attached to the metal bar that attached to the handle, and so we didn't actually have to pull our hands into the toilet to pull the string up. All we did was just uh, replicate the effect of a handle, and and that was to our extent what that's we thought fine, was the damage. Fine. And so that's fine. I just needed to know that uh, you did not see any uh, no, water. No, um, there was no water. Uh, and then when we came back two days later, like I said, there was three or four days where I went to the cafeteria and I walked outside those rooms where it was not wet on the carpet. Those last couple days, it was mushy on that carpet. Today, it's dried out. So, um, so one thing that uh, you might not know about us, uh, but we're extremely OCD. And so actually, every time we leave a hotel room, we scour it for anything that is, uh, that's still ours or looks obvious we or things like that. We would have seen wet carpet. I would have said something. I would have definitely said something. Okay. And so, yeah, okay. we're just... Let, let's, let's head back into uh, the... Uh, to summarize there, I will check on the carpet. I'm curious about that. Okay. The toilet handles are not issue. The um, food containers, uh, you knowingly didn't break any uh, rules, and once you were asked to, you complied. Okay. Um, staying in the room, I'm hearing from you that uh, uh, whenever we require something, that we make a, uh, a, a strong uh, uh, statement. Um, if there's strings attached. I would like attached. to ask that at the same time that uh, when we make a suggestion like that, that you also uh, take into account and uh, try and be insightful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're 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 we we all, we're genuinely really reasonable people, and we 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 really I mean we don't know how this happened to be honest. We were okay. pretty shocked. The other thing. So. Um, when you were my guest there, okay, I paid for the room. Um, the the other thing that worries me was the spirit uh, discussions, and I know how 
uh, strongly if you feel about something. Um, but I would just ask if, uh, in the new hotel that you that you're in, uh, that if you feel like you're getting into a spirited discussion, that you uh, simply turn it over to me. By the way, question. Now to clarify this, Will, what scenarios were you? being too aggressive because to be completely honest Will I've never seen you what would you even talk to about the staff all it was was once with the ma uh, general manager over the bottles incident when it came to the other staff members I really I've never actually had any conversations with any other staff members it was just him. like you're talking about so, a, uh, a pressing conversation that gets more awkward and the they don't like it kind of thing right oh um yeah, in the new hotel, um, if anything comes up... Uh, well, question. Uh, is that what we did here, though? Me, I'm, I'm I get... my guests and let me I, handle the Yeah, no, uh, I am... Um, but them. we didn't we, do that, yeah, though. Yeah, I kind of... I, I, I know what you mean, Dad. Um, and it's one of those things where you're just going to uh, mention it because it happens to be part of the topics now. Whether or not uh, we've violated it, uh, uh, the, the sanctity of the relationship prior to is uh, non-decided... But I, I know exactly where you're coming from, and so maybe you uh, needed to hear a couple things like what I'm going to tell you now to sort of uh, help uh, uh, balance out the perspective. I had uh, what one could be uh, construed as a reasonably animated, or not animated, but a, a spirited, like you say, a spirited conversation with him over the milk. And when I had spoken to him, I actually, after I ended that conversation, about five minutes later, came back to him, and I actually apologized to him. I said, "Hey, man, you know," and he said, "Hey, you're just a, a you know redhead. I am too. You know, it's in our blood and yeah, stuff." He, he, and, mentioned, he mentioned that. He said uh, uh, it was spirited, and then he said something like afterwards. Uh, yeah, was uh, he cussing though? Blood, so, yeah. Was it hate so? Speech, it's uh, I, I may be concerned, but it's because we have been lynched so many times that we tried to stop things and nip them in the bud as quick as possible and so we don't know okay. how else to do it than put our foot down sometimes okay, I, and stuff like okay, that I, so whatever. I, i've kind of over the years learned how to talk to people so just let me handle them from now on okay when i'm paying if you're paying uh, go for sure it. yeah okay. there's um there's some cordiality um uh you know type of relationship there um as long as it as, as as long as our rights remain intact as in you know there's you know versus like being extorted and things like that you know which i'm i'm not okay. too concerned about but we're okay, okay. we're really uh, sorry dad if if there's anything that like what that really pisses me this. off is we try really hard to be good people and crap like this happens and, it really uh, pisses me off i mean it's well the, it, the spirit of discussion didn't help i think i may have well, anyway, let me, let me not uh, speculate here. Okay. Um, they're not going to charge us for damages. Um, uh, Pause. Tell me what are, am I, are we to be blamed, though? When you say charges uh, for damages, are they saying that we caused it? Um, at this point, the question's moot. Okay. We don't know what he said to you specifically. I don't like, you know, uh, the only reason why is I don't like people going around talking as if I was at fault for that. We need to talk in a context that we're not at fault for that ever. Okay. Since it was I'm never decided, not, like you said. You're, you're not ever going to see this guy again. It's not worth that. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and by the way, and, and by the way, Dad, I just, I need to clarify something, well, too. Well, it's for emotional reasons, too. So, Seriously, Dad. Yeah. Uh, I think one of the more main concerns I, I, I want to get off the table finally here is when we talk about Sue, we are not actually out to go file some lawsuit where, like you said, on the other side, now he's going to be flustered or concerned or possibly have some sort of uh, bipolar episode because now he has to get a lawyer and so forth. Our idea of a lawsuit is literally, okay, I kid you not, this is what we've done for every previous situation. Like, uh, we were banned from a King Supers without any due process. We hadn't been given a formal warning or a, a chance to stop violating policies, things like that. All we did was call up corporate and ask, say, saying to them, hey, we feel as though our right, our common law right to use your services was denied. And so all we wanted to do with this situation was start with corporate and just simply ask them, hey, if, are we supposed to be on a permanent ban list 
and if not, can you just reverse that? And if you don't reverse that, all we're going to do is just sort of collect the evidence someday to show maybe just with a general complaint would, to the world, just to simply tell the world that people are denying okay. services from people We would like to reason. do okay. service with That's them all. again. Let me jump, let me so, yeah. again. The only reason why we say suit is because people tend to force uh, a lawsuit upon us as our only way to get our common law privileges back. Okay, let's throw out the word suit. So let me tell you what I think I heard. Um, yeah, it's, you can certainly call up corporate. You can ask for their policy. Um, um, uh, I didn't pay in advance, by the way. I reserved the room and they charged me at the end. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know what the policy is, if uh, what discretion the manager has. Well, um, but I'm sure they would side with the manager in this case. And this yeah. Th well, that, the uh, only the only contention that we had was on a on a um, I don't know how what else what word other than racketeering to use, but in terms of finding ways in order for them to say protect themselves from what they could perceive as an incoming lawsuit, uh, the the point only point of contention that we had was where he had said to us and had acted upon it as such that you only had reserved one day and so therefore he was using that as a reasoning we're thinking as to not pay for today so it would Make mean an excuse to get rid it of it would us. be a lot easier for us to uh, be kicked out and so if you well, really did pre-authorize okay, for three days to, and he didn't uh, do that on purpose to make his world easier that's all we were concerned about was that he there was a uh, he lied you know that's all and so he can do whatever he wants with his business, but it just looked a little shady, is all. Okay, um, we may be splitting hairs here. Um, yeah, it may be moot. I don't, I, I don't know if the person I talked to Sunday uh, misheard me or whatever. Uh, I know I said three days. I can cut him some slack for one day. But even if I had said three days and on the second day they had asked you to leave, uh, I'm willing to say uh, they, they have the right uh, uh, the same right on the second day as they would on the third day. When it I doesn't matter him. about the right. We were just wondering what he said, which we already got our answer. Yeah, well, it's more said, like they said, um, they, it's, they said they thought they that I said one day. Um, I think. Well, I I said three days. I'm you, not yeah. willing to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All, all all we're trying to do is establish a, a ground level of, of facts for if it comes up in the future or if anything comes up in the future to establish if there's a reputation or not and I don't believe that this guy has the kind of reputation that he deserves uh, because I know you guys and they know you guys that you've always uh, pre-authorized three days in advance and I asked him very flat out I was very specific I even rephrased it um, m uh, multiple times because I was so concerned that he was saying it and he's like no it was pre-authorized for one specific day and it was basically to cover up that uh, he could have charged, he could have billed for the room, but then he decided not to, to make it look like the, an easier way to get rid of us. And so we were just, we're, well, we're I'm sure, in concern I'm sure in general. Billed, I'm sure I got billed for last night. Um, if not, uh, I'll ask him to bill. He, he didn't charge, yeah, he, he billed you, but he didn't charge your card, is, is what I saw uh, on the receipt. Actually, they, they don't bill me, it's called a reservation. All, all I did was reserve the room for three days. They, um, That's, uh, the that missed yeah. me. They were pre-authorized trying to get rid of us that way. Yeah. All, uh, yeah. All we were concerned about was that uh, that they were trying to hide that they had the opportunity and wherewithal and authorization to go ahead and charge for three days, and that they're basically using the excuse that they didn't have the authorization as to an e one less variable to worry about as to kick us out over and and he was very okay. adamant he's like sorry guys you gotta go because you know you don't have that authorization and we were like yes but we were under the impression and so our parents were as well that we did have that authorization and so for someone to okay, change up their story like off. that yeah. you know it may be moot but honestly all you can do in your mind dad is go back to that day and you know think about what you said and if you feel as though it was three days I wouldn't start second guessing yourself because people have a way of, on their end, um, changing facts to be in their favor. And, you know, it, I don't like when people start to uh, tr trust so easily. That there's, you, I don't know just if you know this. Just because he's a businessman doesn't mean he's okay, trustworthy. Well, yeah, you yeah, shouldn't just, a, you just shouldn't trust somebody disgusting. so quickly and so easily so, so, so as to second guess yourself. That's all we were concerned about. Okay, let's move on. Um, yeah. Okay, 
so it's not a lawsuit. Uh, what you might do is write a, a bad review on their website. Is that well? That and we on, are on very much website. interested in getting our common law privilege restored. And if we can't do that, let's put it this way, Dad. What we're concerned about is worst case scenario. If we just keep going to stores and they keep banning us, th it was one of the reasons why we had to leave Longmont to go to a different dispensary because the only two in town that did exactly what had happened here and they were basically very shysty one of them actually made up a story that i sold to miners as a way to get rid of us and so when eventually if it's i'm just saying worst 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 case scenario if every business pulls this idea of we have the right to receive refuse service to anyone for any reason or in this case he said no reason and then outright banned forever we're basically effectively human trafficked out of town for those services. And Dad, so you would die if about. Walmart, okay. King Supers, pharmacy, your doctor's offices all decided to just boot you. That's why we're concerned over the water issue. Uh, if we did do something wrong, sure, they could ban us. But when we did nothing wrong at all, I think these people yeah. just hate us and wanted us removed because they simply hate us. Because they're uh, bigoted we, people. We, 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 we've just seen it a lot, and let's put it this way. It, it started to cause a lot of problems in Longmont when uh, only I could go to one King Supers and David couldn't go to either one. And there was only two King Supers in town. And so we just really want our common law privileges. Uh, it's just common law, you know, if you're open to the public, it, you can't just refuse someone for so non-protected reasons. We simply ask corporate okay, to let us back here. Yeah, are both of you banned from that King Supers where the van was? Uh, just, I, uh, just David was. But we're both banned okay. from the other one. Yeah. Okay, that's good, because if uh, we send you there for food, that's a good thing. Okay. So, but it could happen uh, at any time. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, if you want to write a bad review and, uh, um, you, um, want to post it elsewhere as well, um, I guess I'm okay with that. Uh, you might give me the courtesy. Well, I would just ask you to be as accurate as you can, which I think you would be. Um, if you want to run it by me, um, since I paid for the rooms, uh, or, I might it, consider that, but I won't require it. Yeah, if, I mean, if you want to know what our review would be, we would tell the world, yeah, we, uh, we asked if we were in violation of any sort of policies, and they said no, and they uh, said that we were banned forever, and that we don't know why. And, that's, and we would just leave it as an open-ended, uh, you know, watch out for people that may not know the law and not know the common law privileges and rights that people have. And we don't even know how to um, write a bad review on, the, on this place because we never got any information from him. And so okay, you that can, was all you it was. Put, all that in, put it in the review. Okay, and I'm not, I'm we don't really care about reviews lawsuit, either, not, by the way. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not hearing lawsuit because you, there's no monetary damages. Uh, so, question, Dad. If we ask corporate and go up the chains and they never let us back here again and we don't do anything wrong, are you going to be okay with them banning us for the rest of our lives? Um, let's see what happens then, okay? Because that's what I we're guess, saying is I, I, you, it's that's I what guess. a suit is. If they do ban us, I want my privileges back. And that's what a and suit it, is. I mean, if there's only one way to get it in the end by having a court restore it, then, you know, that's our last resort. We, we, let's just put it this way. We aren't the type of people that have even the resources or time or wherewithal to do that. But our list of places that we've been artificially, unlawfully banned from is, is just keeps growing bigger. And it, we, and it's because we are, I don't want to say different, but we're not in their group. We, we're not, um, we're identifiable as not in their quote unquote racket. And so ultimately, our, the only type of lawsuit or suit that we have in the end is just uh, ultimately just to email uh, the world in a general complaint, just kind of news or organizations or, you know, watch organizations for investigatory purposes. Department of Justice, we would just kind of kind of give them a heads up saying to them, hey, you know, there's like six places that we've been banned from for literally no reason. I mean, Walmarts, DU, things like that, that every single time it's usually because we are... Um, we exercise our rights, or worse yet, because we whistleblow. And so we whistleblowed on a uh, Walmart one time by reporting that they weren't doing their jobs right, and then we just simply got banned the next day. It was very, very disrespectful. And so we, we, the only definition, the reason why we say suit is because 
we don't know how else to get our rights back. And so if we could figure out another way, like I said, with internal affairs or with um, Or if they listen to us in corporate, corporate, which they never do. And, and so, you know, we just record our conversations with corporates and put it online for records just, just to keep a paper trail. That they, we, just have a, we just have a lot of places that we just keep getting banned from with it's people telling us literally to our faces that there's no reason. So, Dad, would you be upset if King Supers banned you for no reason and you had to go get your Zyprexa at another store? You have to drive all the way out of town? That's what we're saying is, we do nothing. We're, we're literally talking, well, Dad. You walk in the line, there, and you get banned. You think, yeah. What I'm hearing is you're saying that because of your lips... Um, not that, not uh, lips. We're actually looks. very well... Oh, looks. Lips yeah. or looks? Yes. Because we look poor or something, over time, I swear it happens the same time every time. They get more paranoid around us before they have a freak out, and that's what just happened with this management here. Yeah. Uh, uh, just to clarify, I don't know if you said lips, as in like uh, so how we lips. how we speak, uh, because lips, they're lips, L-O-K-S. yeah. Okay. Because usually, just to clarify, we're extremely extremely quiet spoken like for instance with the du that we were literally trying to just you may think we're belligerent but you've known how shy i am my whole life we're as quiet as anyone else i swear anytime something's wrong we personally talk to him about it instead of going getting an attorney and that's what gets us banned every time and so it's a it's uh i don't want to say this but it's a combination of what we feel is is looks and our pro se status of um being confident to try and deal with the situation ourselves and so people are used to having a lawyer come tell them off um but we usually tell them to their face you know very quietly though like i said we, we're we like because we're we, we know that they, we have to walk on eggshells around people you, you never see that side of us uh but that's what some of the recordings are there for well uh, uh we, we only get outspoken or like um loud or things like that uh, with people like you after we've already had the soft spokenness beat out of us and things like that uh, with the manager here okay. and so forth um, we, we've always been extremely quiet and whatever what, what it comes down to is a difference in uh, 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 how do I word it looks slash uh, national origin people think poor we're, people create more crimes we're, we're different and we, we look poor, and so usually people get scared that we're going to do something in the future, and they get really or paranoid. Poor, or poor people are stupid, and stupid okay. people so are more th- liable, like cause that. more damages, when we're really so, careful yeah. about what we do. So we're, we, let okay, me put it this way. Okay. We have so, been trying so to avoid these strong, types of situations. strong agreement here. Sorry. Um, that looks play a major look, but okay, we're getting off topic. Well, thanks okay. for understanding that, though. That's like half of our complaint. Well, that's so. what I've assumed all along. Okay. Um, I'm going to defer the question of whether I would support a lawsuit because uh, that's such an iffy thing that I need to think through it. I may never even have to think through it. And and also, uh, we're not asking you for that help either. We uh, well, you know, yeah, but but still, uh, uh, we paying for it. Mom. Um, what I would ask is if you uh, decide to pursue a lawsuit, that since I was the one who paid for it, that you would include me. In any converse or any uh, communication and then at that point I would decide whether or not to support you or tolerate or whatever the word is. Uh, question Dan. Is that okay? Are, uh, are you any bit upset that your sons had damages framed on them? Does that rise any emotion? Does that get you angry at all that, that people could be treat true. your kids like that? If it's true. Well. Because not doing an investigation and blaming them. Uh, I took him at uh, face value because I didn't have any reason not to believe him. And then you uh, gave me all these reasons, and so I'm taking that into account. So I give people the benefit of the doubt to start with, but uh, I'm certainly open to changing my mind when I have uh, more information, which is what you Yeah, I don't want to... I take this with a very, very, very large grain of salt, but that mentality that you just spoke of, of um, giving people the benefit of the doubt, uh, is... A lot of the reason why we've been, especially me with the attempted influence felony, uh, been wrongfully convicted or wrongfully accused, because uh, we see that people are, uh, they always try and be better safe than sorry, and so they basically take the cops at uh, the benefit of the doubt, and then when I basically get to the stand and I have to 
point, you know, poke holes in the other side and basically flat out show that they uh, m manipulated or lied or were not as truthful as one could be. Um, let's put it this way. Most people aren't so willing to uh, pull back and take a second look from outside perspective. Most people just flat out just can't move that atom in their brain. And so we're just, we're, we're, we appreciate that you're willing to, you know, not not hold on to such conclusions but hopefully you can kind of see that that mentality of um implicitly believing somebody there's a lot of reasons why people especially um really people that okay, are okay. rich and stuff that they have a lot of investments that they get extremely paranoid and so they start lying or covering things up or basically just manipulating the I know, stories and I stuff know like enough, that. So. i know enough uh, good rich people and i've seen enough bad poor people that uh, I'll, I'll start out now. Well, you've Looking also, back, you I may have not sure. seen a lot of uh, mean, rich people, and uh, you may not have had enough time to see a lot of poor, nice people to also balance that perspective out. That, oh, that would I, be stat fraud. Yeah, that's that's fine. I, uh, okay. You know, it's just... Um, so, um, as far as the lawsuit goes, are you willing to bring me in any communication in that... Uh, well, the thing is, is if we do, it wouldn't involve you at all. You're never here. You're never involved we in don't, any issues. Um, in terms of uh, any sort of investments, if, if, if there's any terms of investments, if you are if you have a uh, dog in the fight or a hand in the partnership, we would let you know. And we've uh, never had that sort of situation in the past. We've only asked you for initially and always mostly just medical help is all I've really asked or wanted in, in the end. Uh, and okay. um, in this case, right now, uh, the only thing that I have uh, uh, to do is just my affidavit for the attempted influence. That's all I'm doing right now. So things like that. Okay, but, okay. I think we beat this horse to death. Uh, let's get you in the place next to you. I will um, Thank you, Dad. We really appreciate and, that. Uh, we, you we you do realize that, uh, just to let you know, as much help as uh, we do greatly appreciate from you, we're never going to change our path. And I hope you realize that, that if you were not to help us, I would basically be sitting our stuff on that street corner crying until I froze in the night and called an ambulance. Or just went to because the... Because that's where the stats shelter. really are. If and I don't so, have friends or family... Yeah, let's put it this way, Dad. Homeless shelters all we're, full? All we're trying to do at this point is uh, light some sort of fire under you in the sense that you're one of the few people in our life that are actually still willing to help us, but the type of help that you're providing is actually more expensive than it should be simply because of all the previous people that have wronged us. And you shouldn't have to pay for their their wrongs. And so, you know, um, for us to have so much trouble just to find places to sleep in and stuff like that, I mean, we're not you should be extremely concerned. You should go into city council and be like, hey, why can't my sons just go park their van on the side of the road somewhere? We're not like going to give up our rights because the people closest to us couldn't financially help us. Uh, uh, I mean, you... Uh... And so we, we just... I guess what I'm just trying to say is... is um, we're, we're trying to get as, as uh, much help as we can get for as little as we can get it for... Uh, just to keep our lives in minimal amount of ta intactness and um, it, we, we just are we just wish it, it didn't come down to such um, drastic measures uh, that if we didn't have your help we really do, wouldn't know what to do but we're just really pissed that we shouldn't have to ask for so much help the only reason I want you to know that we're in this boat, that we're even asking for this type of help, is because of a whole lot of other people that have wronged us or put bad laws in the books or just made it extremely difficult for yeah, us Dad, to you're just... you're a victim to this. ...just exercise our, okay. our basic rights and stuff. And so we, we, we didn't want this at all either, and we don't want this We would you. be on the side so. of the road if they didn't have this okay, law. Well, so, that's now, all. Now we're getting into the question of how many more days, and let's say that for tonight, I said. Yeah, we um, we have plans too. By the way, of uh, that's going to be for Will's sake. I'm just tagging like, along uh, with him. We, you know, a week or two, something like that. We have we're we're trying everything we can think of, and also too, we're trying to ask, um, or not ask, but if the, I don't know if there's a place that can do uh, month to month renting without a uh, a lease. Uh, yeah, instead it, of paying uh, for a hotel, there's really cheap you know since room the, one month to month two fifty or something like yeah, that. Yeah, since the emergency of uh, of the um, 
ER and stuff is, is hopefully finally past us. Um, I was trying to think of a place where, you know, Dave could park the van out front and he could live in the van uh, secretly, easily, and I could live in the house or something like that or, you know, uh, there's something a, cheap. Because yeah. I know that there's cheap solutions out there. But keep in mind also that already brings up the contention of the three unrelated rule, which again is, I hate to say this, but part of our complaint is that why can't we find a cheap place in this town? And so we're asking the same proverbial question that everybody's asking. And so we're, I, you know, we're, we're going to, we're going to keep trying to think outside the box and we'll just keep thinking we'll ta- we'll touch base on that later by the way I, so. I think it ought to be the four unrelated rule but uh, I'll see if you can get a change from that yeah that's, that's at least a little bit better but then you know if there's five people or six people that want a house then they're really quiet you know it's a whole other argument Hey, actually, Dad. Let's talk medical for a minute, okay? Yeah. Hey, Dad, just really quick. If you're curious, um, I'll give you the case law of the Supreme Court ruling for the three unrelated rule that has never been changed. But there was a dissenting judge in it that very well explained kind of why it's a bad idea and why there could be more even-handed legislation out there and stuff. You you might like it. It's a really interesting. It's a it's the only case law out there about the three unrelated rule. And so, okay. yeah. Send it my way. It's an interesting read, you know. All right. Next. Since it's in your in your jurisdiction, um, Fort Collins and stuff. Anyways, moving on. Okay, we we all have a very strong interest in getting you healthy. You can't live the rest of your life. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm on a, I'm, I'm living on a string. I admit that. I'm I'm really trying to just maintain some semblance of a circadian rhythm, food and stuff like that. It's. It's pretty bad right now. I admit that. I'm really sorry. I, I didn't wish this upon myself or anything. So. Yeah, but it's not Will's fault. It's all the homeless resources that didn't work out in Dale So forth and so on. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, well, politics aside, uh, basics are really simple. Like you said, there was like six of them. They're really... We don't... We really don't need much, you know, to get uh, to By the, the next, way, I could, next step. I could pay for food. I've been going on grocery runs. We're just... Okay. Well, yeah, we're just... Um, well, what we're hoping is it, once we, I mean, it's a long shot, but if we email this to enough people, we might be able to get uh, a couple hundred just to keep us going. And then from there, by the way, quote, just to let you know, uh, once I'm caught up on my paperwork, like for attempted influence, and it's it, turned over to an attorney, I can literally, literally wipe my hands clean of all of my time that I have to spend on my legal stuff. I hate I literally loathe, believe me, I do not enjoy in any bit having to spend my own voluntary time cleaning up other people's messes. It's better to go pro se than go with bad attorneys. And so I have to go the, with the attorney route anyways. But what I'm trying to say is is that once this is once I get to a certain sweet spot in like a week or two with my side of the paperwork, if I can keep uh, uh, going at this pace that I've been going for like the last month, I can sit down and do the whole Amazon thing. I or something believe me i'm i'm very capable and if i have a lot of time on my hands i'll figure it out to get my uh means again i just have yeah, this priority of legal stuff is all so that's all we, we would love to have see you in a uh uh doesn't have to be fancy maybe the cheapest apartment uh with a roof over your head and maybe in a little while to get money to buy a car to get around and, and yeah stuff. part-time work no believe me it's it's really easy to get a foothold in this world. I'm very capable. I mean, I was earning 12 bucks an hour full time. I just had, I'm basically, I've just been drowning in paperwork and, and yeah. medical. Will has more work than me, but I'm basically almost to the point of having my time back that I can go back to a job. But yeah. then we're back in the same boat that if the job uh, injures me and uh, they don't accept my paperwork, then I'm back. So, in the same uh, yeah, Dad, let's put it this okay, way. Let's, um, let's, let's move on. I've got to get back to work. Re- Real quick, uh, last thought. Last thought on that subject. Hold really? on. What, what, no, what I gotta do about stuff? Uh, just, just hold on. I gotta get this out, Dad. Uh, ultimately, what David and I have had a, the largest problem with in our lives was being able to job shop for something that fit us that we knew wouldn't infringe on our medical or legal rights and stuff like that. And so, if David could find the right type of job with enough time, of uh, in the meantime, of uh, uh, a minimum. Um, maintaining his life so he can go find the right job instead of just the next job 
that's really what our only problem was is we we just had to keep going to the next immediate job like five guys and stuff and it wasn't the right fit for us and stuff and so if we could get um like a you know a, a balance in the meantime to keep us uh minimally in this boat we can job shop and we could finally get to where we want to be and i know we can be there i you know that's just a job shopping is just very tough when you're um having to make your ends meet so yep. your mother and i are strongly encourage you and we're glad to hear you you're thinking seriously about that okay i only have a few minutes left uh, let's talk medical okay. uh, question real quick important uh what are we going to do about our stuff oh you're going to walk to next door to baylor as soon as i give the call here in a few minutes oh, oh okay. baymont baymont okay baymont. that works okay. thank you okay um uh Yeah, it's Dr. Jenkins. Believe me, I've been meaning to keep him a call and schedule something. Okay, you got to do that because every day you put it off is the day. Is literally the next day. They're charging you more yeah. every day, so. Yeah, that, that, that you can't uh, get in and see uh, the next doctor in the plane. Yeah, no, b Just believe me, every. Follow up, you don't, you, you, you don't even have to talk to him much. Just see what he has to say. Uh, if he comes back and says, well, it's. I don't know what he'd say, but yeah. do that, and you can get to the, your, back to your primary care. And, yeah, believe me, and I am care. kicking myself for why I haven't called him. I don't know. My schedule's bad, and I sometimes it just slips my mind, or I think I can call him right then and there, but then I forget and stuff. I'm really, really, really sorry. Oh. I have every intention of following up with him. Yeah, I'd so. say put it above your legal because you're, you're not going to be able to do anything if you're... Uh, if I'm dead. Okay. It's true. Yes. Okay, let me call Bay Mons and I'll give you a call back. Is your phone still alive these days? Uh, I have uh, plenty of battery life. Okay, I'll call you back in a few. Okay, while I'm waiting, okay. I'm just going to call Jenkins right now since it's on my mind. Finally, I'll do it. It's during business okay. hours. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry, talk to you later. Bye.